Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Aries. Aries, we're going to take a look at who's coming towards you in love and if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And just a friendly reminder, I am available for private readings, so if you're after one, I have those links down below in the description box. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my lovely Aries for their highest and greatest good. All right, your person showing up as the Nine of Pentacles. All right, ooh, this is somebody who's very, very compatible with you. You're gonna be immediately like on the same page, just really get each other. This can also be somebody who's in your community, Aries, somebody at work, at school. What they like about you, your directness here with the uh, Knight of Swords. And yeah, a lot of you, this is a connection that you're going to meet, not necessarily online, but they're in your community. This is somebody who's most likely already around you in some capacity um, and possibly somewhere you go back to. So that could be work, it could be school, it could be the gym. We have Leo energy. This person has a very sunny disposition. This person's, um, I feel like they do get a lot of attention. They have a lot to offer there. Um, they could be a Leo Virgo cusp for some of you. Um, but truthfully, this nine of pentacles is like, this is somebody who pretty much has everything they need, Aries, but love. All right, so let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Aries. What else do we need to know about this person, please? All right, the Wheel of Fortune. So they're, this is a destined partnership. This is someone who has a lot to offer. So I am seeing that there's a comfortable lifestyle indicated here for you too. And we have the Magician card, Virgo Gemini energy coming through. So Aries, this person, they have everything that you're looking for. And I think they're going to see that in you as well. For some of you, this person actually works with tools or works outdoors. Possibly, too, they like to garden or they grow, like, herbs and plants. Um, they grow herbs or plants, like, in their kitchen or in their, in their house, in their yard, in their patio. Um, but I'm definitely seeing this is somebody who's very action-oriented. This is somebody who manifests pretty easily. And, again, they do have a lot to offer here. And we see the two of pentacles. So a lot of my Aries, I'm seeing that... You know, you, you might be just, you know, doing your thing and you don't see this person coming in. So I do think it's going to be quite unexpected. Of course, that could be their energy as well. Um, one or both of you could have a side hustle or have even two jobs. If this person has a side hustle, I feel like there's, you know, it's something very creative. Probably brings in a lot of money. I'm getting this person has a lot of passive income, okay, for some of you. Or they have like a, a couple of different streams of income. All right, so yeah, we're getting strong Virgo energy. I'm not surprised. Um, again, it doesn't necessarily mean they're a Virgo sun, moon, or rising, um, but they definitely have this Virgo energy about them. So they may overthink and overanalyze their planners, their organizers. This is somebody who's definitely got their shit together, Aries, and they're very passionate about whatever it is they do. Yeah, and like I said, for some of you, they have some sort of side hustle that they're extremely passionate about. But there's never a dull moment with this type of person who enjoys life fully. So that it feels like they've got a lot going on. They might be a bit of a social butterfly. They might be that person that's always organizing their group of friends. Um, but they're also going to be very passionate when it comes to making love and in the bedroom. So I feel like my Aries, you're going to definitely be compatible in that regard. And we also get Cancerian energy. Wow. So we see possible Cancer Leo cusp, possible Virgo Leo cusp. Again, trust your intuition. This is a bit more of a, a, an energy read than a signs read necessarily, although some of the signs may resonate with you as confirmation. But this person is definitely creative. They're, you know, they're loving. Um, they're very passionate. They're very, like, I feel like they've got their shit together, but they're also very tender and very sweet at times, okay? And I love that. And I'm not surprised that we're getting this entrepreneurial card they put their ideas to work for them. This is somebody who, yeah, again, and it, this might be somebody who kind of builds businesses and then sells them. Um, but this is somebody who's investing in their future. This is somebody who probably has a bit of savings. 
Um, or, you know, this is somebody who's thought about their 401k, <laughs> okay? Um, yeah, somebody who likes to plan and likes to organize in that regard. All right, so let's see, my lovely Aries. What else do you need to know about this person? So we see the three of pentacles. Uh, this is, you two are going to be just so compatible on so many different levels, on, in so many different ways. So let's see, clear messages, advice, and guidance. This person may be shorter than average, okay? Or they might just be shorter than you. Um, but it doesn't take away any of their might, okay? This person might be small but mighty is what I'm getting. And again, these very specific physical attributes, ethnicities, you know, um, countries, things like that, ages, they're not going to resonate with all of you, and that's okay. It doesn't mean it's not your reading. It's just going to be confirmation for some of you, okay? And we get, yeah, this person is very loving. Yes, I definitely got that from that Cancerian energy that showed up earlier. And we see ginger. So some of you, they may, they may be ginger, okay? Uh, but for others of you, they might just really love ginger tea. We also see Asian. Some of you, um, if you go out to sushi, like they might tell you they really love that ginger that cleanses your palate, like that's their favorite part. Or like I'm even getting somebody like chewing on ginger, using ginger as home remedies. Um, so yeah, so just really trust your intuition here with these messages. All right, how else will my Aries be able to identify this person? Clear messages, advice, and guidance. How else will my Aries be able to identify this person? All right, so this person may be tattooed. I am seeing a dragon tattoo, okay, but that may not be for all of you. All right, uh, they called you the other night, so some of my Aries, you might already be in contact with this person, you might already be in communication with this person. The Eight of Pentacles does indicate that this is somebody who you, you know, you may be already around you. Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles is certainly in your community around you in some capacity, okay? This person may have more vowels than consonants in their name or something about the vowels are standing out. I'm getting the letter U in particular. And they have a noticeable facial feature, okay? So I am getting, it's like gonna be, I, I feel more than anything, it may be a freckle or freckles that you find very endearing, very sweet. And we do see this person has lived in more than one country, okay? So that could be that they come from overseas Aries, or maybe they studied abroad, or maybe they, you know, they, they're an expat, they were an expat, let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Aries, please. What else do they need to know about this person? All right, so for some of you, they are gonna have facial hair, a full beard, goatee, they may be manicured, but again, not all of you are into people that have facial hair, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right, luxury car and houses. I definitely see that here with this person, with the Wheel of Fortune and their energy and the Nine of Pentacles and the Magician card. This is somebody who has a lot to offer. This is somebody who, again, also really likes nice things. And I feel like they kind of have everything but love Aries, and they do want to share what they've worked for. And some of you, they may have children, okay? If that's not the case, some of you, they're going to be very upfront about wanting to have children. And we see that this person is a great cook. So a badass in the kitchen. They may come from a different ethnic background. And for some of you, you know, they may have uh, or have had a job in the restaurant business or in the culinary, in the culinary field. But regardless, this, this person's love language very well may be cooking, right? Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> so what they like about you is the Knight of Swords. So they see you as very honest. They like your directness. And you know my Aries out there, you know you're direct. <laughs> and not everybody can handle that, right? But this person does really like that about you. Uh, very endearing quality here. All right, and we have the King of Wands. This person loves your big Aries energy. You know you've got it, <laughs> so flaunt it. They're gonna love it, love that big Aries energy about you. This person might also see you. You know, you might have um, you know some good business acumen, Aries, and and they've got this entrepreneurial spirit. So you may talk shop, you may talk business. Um, but with the Knight of Wands energy here, it does feel like um, this person, they find you to be very sexy, very charismatic. They see you as successful or they see the potential for success within this connection. And yeah, you're going to feel it in the heart chakra here, Aries, when you two meet 
or when you two are around each other. And this person might even tell you like they feel, you know, shot through the heart here when you're around. There's just something electric. I'm not reading this as third party energy or sadness or disappointment. I'm reading this as a very intense connection where you two are very intensely connected through the heart space, okay? For some of my Aries, if you have experienced difficulty and heartbreak and disappointment in the past, this person really likes how you've dealt with that or how you've been able to overcome it, all right? And at the bottom of the deck, we have the lover's card. So get ready for a very sexy, very passionate connection here. Uh, potential Gemini energy there for some of you. All right, let's see what else this person loves about my Aries other than your big Aries energy. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Aries, please. All right, yeah, this person's going to see you as the one. Loyalty, tenacity, and unselfishness. So this person sees you as the one, Aries. They see you as their person. All right. And we see trickster. Ooh, I love this. They also see you as a manifester, Aries, that you're transcending convention, stuffiness, and predictable behavior. So they love that you're a bit of a, a risk taker. Again, they have that magician energy. You two are going to share that magician energy. You're both able to transmute. Um, you're both able to manifest. You both put your ideas to work for you. You both are creative. You're both a little unconventional. And this person just loves that about you. And they also love your playful child divine energy here, Aries. So innocence, purity, and redemption it suggests a special connection with the divine. So they definitely feel like this is a divine connection. There may be a lot of synchronicities that bring you together or that you both see when you're together. They love your spiritual side, but they also love that your ability to, your ability to see things with fresh eyes. And I think you're also going to allow them to see things with fresh eyes. And, put, and I see you two both as being extremely creative together. You know, whether it's creating a family, whether it's creating a life, a home, a business, um, some of you too, you're going to really connect in your creative endeavors, whether it's music, poetry, um, art. Um, yeah, beautiful. It, it feels really good, but let's see. So what else we need to know? A lot of you, we are getting confirmation that this is somebody who's somehow around you. Um, now, of course, it doesn't mean you can't connect online or through a dating app. But it just means I do feel they're in your community. All right. It, children are important to this partnership. So that's coming through twice for you, Aries. A lot of you, this person does either have children or they want children. So just make sure you're on the right page early on about what you want your future to look like. This rejection is actually divine protection. Some of you, this could be a connection that when you were a lot younger, uh, you were together, childhood, high school sweethearts or something like that. But that's not for a lot of you. Yeah, and for, and, and for a lot of you too, I feel this rejection and this healing energy is one, this connection is gonna have a very healing quality for the both of you because it just feels so right and it just clicks. But I also think you're going to realize why other things didn't work out for you, other relationships, other connections. I do see two very hardworking people. So Spirit is saying, just make sure, Aries, that you find that time to like laugh and to goof off and to spend time together. Because you both might have very high work hours. But truthfully, I don't feel like anything can really get in the way of this connection or from this connection unfolding, Aries. All right. So let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Aries, please. All right, we see let go of the past, okay? So clear your energy to allow more love into your life, okay? So if you've recently been rejected here, Aries, just let it go. Know that, you know, the universe is not going to let anything pass you by that's truly meant for you, all right? And we get fearless love. This is my Aries card in this deck, a courageous leap into the unknown. Yeah, so for a lot of you, yes, this is going to be brand new, um, it's something you've never felt before. You've never dealt with someone like this before. And we get proposal. So this person, this is, this is a connection that's definitely going to evolve and level up. And I think you both are going to be on the same page. And I do think it's going to happen pretty seamlessly, pretty effortlessly. Spirit's confirming that this is a perfect match for you, Aries. So a lot of you, you are divine counterparts or this is your person. Ooh, all right, let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Aries, please. Any important dates or time frames for this connection? 
November. So a lot of you, it's happening. If not, if it's not already happening, it's going to be happening shortly. And Spirit's saying that there have been delays, but a lot of you by November, you're going to know exactly who this person is, or you may even be in a higher level of commitment with them. All right, my lovely Aries, I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. And also down there, I have my links to TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Aries. Take care.